loan interest rates highest in three years, and car buyers are spending more than ever in dealer f and It's a double disaster. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Auto loan interest rates soared to their highest level since 2019, while the average monthly payment for new vehicles passed 700 bucks in the third quarter, yeah. according to Edmonds. Add to this bad news, dealership f and sales are up 60%. That means more customers than ever are getting snookered by the finance officer. You're paying through the teeth for a car, and then you're buying everything in finance. Some of you are clearly nuts. More than 14% of car buyers now have a record high payment of 1000 bucks a month. That's more than most people's mortgage payments. Come on. Edmund said the average annual percentage rate on financed new vehicles for the third quarter was 5.7% up from 4.3% the same time last year, and up since last quarter's 5%. Since inventory has been so low due to the microchip shortage, there hasn't been a lot of need for incentives, Jessica Caldwell, Edmonds Executive Director of Insights, told Automotive News. The industry is dealing with other supply issues, she said, noting Ford Motor Company's badging shortage last week. Ford is low on the little round blue Ford badges? <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine. With prices on the rise, the average amount financed for new vehicles also climbed up to 41347 and that's up from 38315 in third quarter 2021, and up from the second quarter 2022 average amount finance of 40602 Along with increased APR and average amount finance, the average monthly payment for a new vehicle in the third quarter was more than $700, with 14.3% of consumers ticking out a record high monthly payment of $1,000. Now moving on to the insanity happening in dealer finance. Yes, I do mean insanity. Here's the truth, you guys. Car salesmen do often buy a car at their own dealership, but when they do, they buy nothing from finance. I mean, nothing. Absolutely And nothing. finance doesn't even try to snowball them. Their own employees don't buy that junk and neither should you. Anyway, 60% of dealerships have generated higher finance and insurance product sales this year, according to the 2022 Protective Asset Protection F&I Trends Report. Baloney, more like Protective Profits Report. <laughs> 12% of retailers saw F&I sales volume rise more than 10% from 2021, according to the F&I product provider. Another 48% increased sales by 5-10%, to 10 with Protective's distribution and training senior vice president Rick Kurtz called very healthy. Well, healthy as in the dealer's bottom line for sure. Interestingly, F&I sales were unchanged at 22% of dealerships and the remainder were down 5% or more year over year, Protective said in the report. With fewer vehicles being sold in 2022 than 2021, the increase in F&I product sales is material and meaningful, Kurt said. Multiple factors contributed to the increase, including car buyer ignorance, unfortunately. The decrease in vehicle volume has actually helped dealer F&I departments sell products, he said. There's more time to interact with the consumer, Kurtz said. Now, doesn't that just sound cozy? Ew. Kurtz went on to say that it created what he called less pressured conversations that permitted more time to help customers understand which products best suited their needs. Less pressured? Holy crap, a boiling tea kettle is less pressured than dealer finance offices. <laughs> Tight vehicle supplies have also helped drive F&I sales by prompting dealerships to introduce higher mileage, older models into inventory. We've mentioned that here recently on a show. Yep. Things that previously maybe would have never been retailed, Kurt said. Maybe? maybe? Yeah. Customers recognize they're buying a vehicle that is out of the manufacturer's warranty while needing to cover vehicle technology, he said. Increasing vehicle technology and complexity have driven demand for F&I products. Customers aren't sure how to address problems with such technology. In my neighborhood, I don't see too many people out working in their cars in the driveway on a Saturday anymore, Kurtz said. It's very, very sophisticated. And folks, that's exactly what they want you to believe. And so many of you are believing it. You're spending thousands of dollars on dealer finance gadgets and products. Rising vehicle prices, increasing interest rates, and overall inflation have also created an increasingly stressed situation for consumers, according to Kurtz, often making them less confident in their ability to cover a total loss or a, even just a mechanical repair. Now, see, he mentions here mm -hmm. more stress, and then before he says it's less stressful. Yeah. Well, then okay. there's that lovely gap. 
Protective asset protection looked specifically at the effects of higher prices on guaranteed asset protection. The FNI product covers the difference between a vehicle's value reimbursed by a traditional auto insurer and the balance on an auto loan in the event of a total loss. Isn't that cute? They want people to think that Gap is an exclusive product of dealer FNI. Kurt said the need for Gap has increased as prices rise and customers become exposed to longer loan terms and higher interest rates. Customers see it as a hedge against an upside down situation, he said. Yeah. I see lower prices and buying with cash as a hedge yeah. against an upside down situation. <laughs> but higher prices yielded mixed gap results across the industry, according to Protective. 30% of dealership decision makers said their customers were asking for more gap policies because of higher vehicle prices. A similar size group, 27% of dealership personnel said higher prices led to reduced gap demand. Another 36% reported no change in gap. It's probably a little bit of a tough debate for the consumer, said Travis Wools, Vice President of Marketing and Communication at Protective. Some customers see their risk and conclude they need gap, Wools said. Others might say, I probably could use this product, but I just can't afford to take on anything more into the loan payment, he said. Customers could buy gap at 68% of dealerships, according to other data from the Protective study. Protective study? What a pile of crap. Just contact your car insurance provider and buy it for pennies on the dollar as compared to the dealership version of a $1,000 gap policy. So Kevin, a couple viewers have asked us, why do you keep selling X caps? Simple answer, because they work. Not everyone gets it, but that's okay. We have hundreds of happy customers and sales reps around the country and they do get it. But the difference between them and a skeptic is they've tried it and they know it works. And the company is opening up 30 new countries to market at the end of this month. The success stories are amazing. And let's see, just a few of the benefits. It's easy to use, it's safe to use with every gasoline and diesel fill up. Uh, adds octane to every grade of gasoline. One X cap boosts the octane of 16 gallons of gas by six to eight points. No longer need premium fuel. It's huge. Improved fuel economy, a five tank trial, and it comes in a package just like this. Improved performance, faster acceleration. That's very true. My truck takes off like a little rocket and fights mileage reduction caused by a higher percentage of ethanol that we're dealing with at the pump. So if you have questions about the X cap and how it can boost your fuel economy, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the X cap, email us at Kevin, the homework guy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database, so we know what works and what doesn't. And we promise you a straight up honest answer if it's right for you. And I'm always happy to help you out. All right, if you're new here at the homework guy, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to the family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back to all our faithful followers. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.